You know, I never ever imagined that there's this term sigma males, like literally, it exists. I've heard about alpha, I've never heard about sigma. And I actually just came across this video. And that made me think, well, I watched a little bit, but usually I check on the comments and man, this is so me. I'm surprised. I'm literally surprised. I'm actually going to play this and I'll give you, if you're interested, I'll just tell you a few of my stories, see if you can relate with it. And uh, man, this is real. I mean, sure. I can tell you few with a few exceptions, 90, 90%, it's just so relevant. Hey, Sigma, man, if you're one of the Sigmas, you probably will be able to relate to every single thing I'm going to say in a bit, but I'm actually going to check on the comments real quick. And I have no idea why I happen to see this. And on top of that, wait, let me see. You see this, some of the comments here, everyone is stuck into the matrix. <laughs> My dog is more genuine than anyone I've ever known. Respect, trust, and loyalty are hard to gain, but easy to lose. Yeah. I totally believe that. Sigmas can be friend many people, but the term friend has a massive meaning and we don't brand others as friends easily. 100%. Once the trust is gone, it's just ridiculous to even bring it back. Even with my own family, like I have issues like, and you probably hear me say this every now and then. Trust is such a big deal. Like, man, and once, it, when it happens in your own family, it's, it's brutal. And I've seen one of the comments, it said, like, check this out. Every single trait mentioned in this video lines up flawlessly with my personality. To all Sigma males out there, I salute you, a Sigma male in heart. And so, wow. Yeah, it's real. And I'm actually going to play this video, okay? So bear with me. Let's see. You might not admit it, but if you're a Sigma male, chances are you don't have many real friends. You might be wondering. I often say, right, I'm alone. I'm, well... I'm alone, not lonely, for a reason. Like, yeah, I like solitude. I rather prefer to be alone and peaceful than, I can, than in an environment where I can control, where people are making noises, and it's just... And hence, I want options, I want choices. A lot of things right now, I can't control, and it's just ridiculous. But anyway, let's actually play this. ...why this is, especially when you know you're an intelligent and capable person. While it's normal to feel that moment when you really want that friend who thinks like you, not everyone has the same opinion about friendship. Many people believe that Sigma men don't have many friends because they refuse to follow the crowd. While this can be true in some cases, it's not always the reason. There are also some deeper psychological reasons why Sigma men have few or no friends. Let's take a look at 12 of the most important ones. 12. 1. People lie too much. And people lie too much and it takes a long time to trust someone. Yeah, that's probably one of the biggest reasons why you see me calling out scammers. Not only because of that the scam, but because of the time they waste. Personally, my own family lied. Or, you know, they, when they lie, just to get over that current situation. Oh yeah, it's gonna be fine, just get over with it, let's lie, just say something. But they don't understand the effect, the consequences of it later on. It, it gets bigger, and it, it's so real. People lie too much, and it takes a long... It's just like, it's so... It's Words are so meaningless now, man. Like... Lying is so easy. It's just like, but yes, I take it seriously. I can so relate to this. I, it's just so cringe when someone can tell the truth in front of your face. Like, you know, it's just ridiculous. Let's actually see And this. it takes a long time to trust someone. True. According to a study by the University of Massachusetts, 60% of people 18 and older can't go 10 minutes without lying. 70% of all. Do you hear that? And that, that's real. My own mother, just, just to beat her on the bush, just to get over certain things. She would just sprinkle some, like, you know, BS lies. It's a joke. You can joke with, what, 10 years old, maybe 7 years, but not, like, keep joking, joking, joking. And yeah, trust is a huge deal. Right? And did you just hear what he said? 18 to whatever people just lie? It's real. I'm gonna just, just skip, skip on some certain things, right? Not wanna play the whole video. Number two, watch this. Two, if anything smells bad, They'll back away quickly. For sure. Can't take any more BS. It just can't. Maybe even if I was 15 or 14. No, no. It doesn't make, add, add up, man. You know that feeling when something seems off and you just don't feel comfortable with a situation or person. 
Maybe it's a bad energy that doesn't quite feel right, or even worse, a person who is obviously only out to take advantage of you. This is one of those moments when a Sigma will quickly back away. They don't like feeling stupid or taken for granted. Even if they know you, they will distance themselves immediately if you start to act shady or Irony, I just mentioned this in my crypto channel. It's so hard to relate to the scammers because, yeah, obviously, when I'm not doing the same thing and when I'm seeing the others do the, dudes are doing the same stuff, right? I can't relate to them. So if my audience, if a certain audience w wants to follow that, obviously, they're not my audience. I can relate to them, right? Or lie to them. This is also why they sometimes appear to have trust issues. They don't want to get too close when the person they are talking to see. Three, they don't want a lot of friends. They don't want a lot of friends. Just a few ride or die pals. Very real. At this moment, I only have one or two. One at least, I remember, that I can call a Ronnie. He's in another city, but it's real. It's just that I just don't want too much BS. And of course, there's some other reasons as well. I had to change my lifestyle for quite a bunch of stuff that happened. If you follow my podcast, man, some of the channels I mentioned, but wow, so far, one, two, three. Yeah, they don't want a lot of friends because unless I can relate, right? You probably understand. Hey, man, if you're Sigma, in a crowd, everyone's just this, 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 this. I'm like, what's going on? I can't relate. Not relatable. So, sure. Just a few ride or dive house. While other people might want to make a lot of friends and feel accepted. Eh. Sigma men. Four, they are highly skeptical of those. They're highly skeptical of those who become their fast friends. Yeah, for that, I have to be out there, present, being, be able to get on social stuff, which I avoid lately because it, people are just outlandish or maybe they're just too comfortable in life or entitled or they're living on their free money, welfare, whatever shit. Yeah, I don't get that. So I, I have to work hard for my stuff. So when I'm in, in a, I'm, that's why I'm not in a crowd for, because if I'm in a crowd where some bunch of whatever, boomers or whatever you want to call are dependent on some government or whatever stuff what am i doing there wasting my time like i just can't relate right it doesn't add any value to my life so exactly my point <laughs> they're skeptical of those who become their fast friends those who become their fast friends so hence i don't i avoid those places in the first you know first place while most alpha males don't care about anything than reputation and status when making oh so that's the difference between alpha and sigma hey man i'm not alpha i'm sigma Wow, I didn't know that. It's such a word. I was like, oh, alpha. Alpha means this, this. I'm sigma. Mm. Friends, sigma males are a little more picky. The people you surround yourself with will determine what kind of person you turn out to be. So they approach each potential friendship with caution. <laughs> they are highly skeptical of those who become their fast friends, as it looks suspicious when someone who was once a... Yeah, sure, this adds up. Let's check out number five. Five. They don't make much of an effort to make... They don't make much of an effort to make new friends. It's been a while I made any friends, I guess. Well, I'm talking online, and I mean, sure. They don't make... What? They don't make much of an effort to make new friends. Somewhat true, sure. I mean, if, if I was talking, and if a conversation was interesting and all that stuff. If... Yeah, I guess. But again... Make new friends. Pretty accurate. You will never see a Sigma man trying too hard to make new friends. They don't feel the need to impress anyone or show off any accomplishments, so they don't bother putting on a show to gain favor. Yeah, I mean, what am I supposed to do if I was if I was in debt? I'm gonna say I'm in debt. What's the, how do I say I have this, this, this? I don't have to prove anything. I'm just saying, like that's what I've been saying, right? A lot of people might not take me seriously, but that's totally fine. I'm not just saying to gain sympathy or try to try to create a story or drama because that's the last thing I want. I'm just trying to keep it real. And that's exactly what I found out that, wow, this is one of the traits of Sigma males that they like to keep things real and bitter truth, basically. Yeah. I'd rather take the truth right now than you just give me the fake stuff right now and damage my life for the rest of, you know, whole eternity, which is pathetic. Rather just give it to me right now and me just beat it on the bush. Oh yeah, it's going to be fine. Everything's gonna be, without any plans whatsoever. That's just like, you're, you're literally packing me up and sending me to hell indirectly. <laughs> Hence, I like to keep it real. For with others, instead of relying on flashy displays. Six, their expectations. Their expectations for loyalty and trust are extremely high. Yeah. If I told you some of my stupid stories, especially a friend in London, then a friend 
friend, yeah, friend. Maybe I still, I still believe friend. But imagine taking money, so-called loan, and then not paying back for almost three years now, and just keep saying, <laughs> should I tell the story right now? Maybe some other day. But yeah, now you'll probably understand how it feels sometimes, yeah. You can control who would do that. Sometimes it could be your high school friend, college friend, whatever. But those are some of the signs. Once it happens, boom, the next everything changes. The expectations for loyalty and trust are extremely high. Whether it's mom, dad, sister, whoever, if they F up with, based on trust, loyalty, whatever, yeah, it doesn't take any longer to distance. All right? It's a fact. For loyalty and trust are extremely high. When it comes to trust and loyalty, Sigma men expect nothing less than total commitment. They don't just want people who will stick around when it's convenient for them. You can find those kinds of people anywhere. But what's hard to find is someone who will stand by you through thick and thin. It's like they know intuitively when someone isn't giving them their all, and they can spot it a mile away. To someone like Sigma, loyalty is everything. And that. I can smell the BS from very far. And hence, I keep saying that. Who are you BSing, right? Simple. Who are you BSing? Like the mainstream or whatever, that's fine. But it's just like sometimes people challenge intellectual level. One plus one, two. No, three. You don't know anything. Three. Bruh, who are you, who you BSing, bruh? That's the point. So when I say that, when I smell BS, I'm like, you can't argue with fools or whatever you want to call them. It's just like, you can argue with stupid. Yes, you're right. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Right? Makes them such great friends, partners, and confidants. Not only do they... 7. Their quiet and mysterious nature often intimidates others. Mm. Sigma men tend to be very private and have a mysterious aura that can often be intimidating for some. They don't like to reveal too much about themselves and prefer to stay in the background rather than be in the spotlight. This is why they're often... It's true. Somewhat true. I really didn't, didn't expect that. Hence, you, you see, the way the videos I do, it's just that... Sometimes a lot of people say, hey, man, why don't you just polish this and make this viral? Uh, that I'm like, I'm not too sure if I'm actually trying to go viral. I like to create content. And if it goes viral, let it be. But I'm not really trying, trying to get extra attention. But yeah, you're doing videos. I am. But I just don't want to push it to that level and get some wrong audience, if you know what I mean. I'm just letting universe do the work and magic. No, I'm, in simple words, I'm not uh, extra working on it. What do you call that? Trying too hard. Yeah, that's the right term. Trying just too hard. I am, I am uh, grinding and I'm hustling. Yeah, I want it really bad, but I, I, I'm not desperate, if you know what I mean. Yeah, I'm, I'm hungry, but I'm not desperate. There's a difference, you know? Desperation versus hungry. Yeah, there's a huge difference, man. I'm, I believe in tribe. Uh, I, I created this thing, man, that tribe breed mentality. Not hybrid, tribe breed. Tribebreed.com. Yeah. And underestimated by those who don't know them as it's easy to mistake their quietness for lack of confidence. However, those who have spent enough time with Sigma men know there's much more to them than meets the eye. They are usually incredibly passionate about their interests and hobbies mm. and can be quite vocal when discussing them. While they may not always express their feelings openly, they still value human connection, just like everyone else. This can create a bit of an obstacle when building relationships with these men, as it's difficult for them to let people in and allow themselves to be vulnerable. However, they can become quite outgoing and sociable once they open up and get comfortable with someone. Eight. It's not about me getting comfortable. It's mainly the other side as well. Sure. If, I, if somebody is totally not relatable, which is rare, that's nowadays it's just so becoming common because of the norm and stuff that's happening. But I'm just saying, if, if something, someone's not relatable, that's a totally different story. But yeah, you, you can't BS. If this moment I smell BS, wasting time, unnecessary, doesn't add any value, I'm like, I'm off. I don't want any unnecessary drama and all this shit. They strongly... There's a difference. When I say huge drama for some entertainment fun versus like getting into controversies and kind of sleep, suit lawsuit and unnecessary BS. Yeah, I don't want that. Just... They strongly dislike getting involved in conflicts and drama. Oh, wow. I didn't know that. <laughs> so this is number eight. Yeah, explained. Number nine. Let's see. Nine. They're not really fans of big crowds. Oh, whoa. I actually didn't see all, the entire video, okay? So, I didn't know that. Okay, so number nine, they're not really fans of big crowds. This is so real. Back then, 
yeah, I was still not in big, huge crowds. Yeah, I, I was fraternities and parties and stuff. But then I was back home while they were still partying. Yes, I, I like my long, long time in solitude. And when I'm working on my stuff, if you're, if you can contribute in that environment that, you know, like be relatable, I'd rather be by myself than having some unnecessary noise in the environment, if, if that makes sense. A lot of people can't be that, in that solitude. I'd rather be, prefer to be in that situation and position than in that environment that is totally noisy and you know, crowded. I'd rather be in that. You get the point? So they are not really feeling, yeah, they agree. Because it's, it's not relatable. In, in, 10, in a crowd of 10, how many would be really... I mean, I can definitely shift my alter egos. I can become totally, you know, from Rebel to Uncle Sully to Sal. I can, but all of them, they're focused in one few things. That, that's like, don't like any BS. Don't like to waste time unnecessarily. And uh, yeah, truth seeker. Simple, truth seeker. It just, I don't, uh, you should know why I just don't like lies. It fucking ruined my life. Signal men may look calm and composed Almost. in big crowds, but they're usually quite uncomfortable when it comes to small talk and large groups. They prefer one-on-one -on -one conversations, as they find it easier to make meaningful connections this way. And while these men can be quite charismatic when they open up, they usually don't like situations where they're expected to entertain or put on a show. This isn't because Sigmas are socially awkward. Far from it. They just... Kinda, sometimes. ...don't need to draw attention to themselves, as they prefer living below the radar. Actually, that's true. But in my game, because obviously not all Sigmas are YouTubers who do content creation, I am an introvert. I'm actually an introvert. But when I tell that to my lawyer or some other people, no, you're not an introvert. You like to talk to your friends. Like you're a bubbly guy. I'm like, not really. I don't like, I mean, you know, I'm an introvert, but I become an extra, I'm an introvertly extrovert. Like I, I become an extrovert if I can relate, if I can, you know, that if I am interested in that topic. But if you were talking about something totally off, which is very clear that there is some diversity, like, there are people who can relate to me. There are people who can't. You can't be middle. It's impossible. I'm not in center. Believe it or not. I don't believe in being in center. It doesn't work. Centers are, middle class is gone. So center shouldn't exist anymore. Simple. Okay. They'd like to spend time with close friends and family in an intimate setting. The same can be said of their career choices as well. Yep. They usually don't go into professions that involve a lot of public speaking or require them to be constantly in the spotlight. Okay. That's something I don't know about that. Yeah. I'm not in public speaking. But look, I'm actually creating a video. I don't mind doing that, maybe. But if I had to speak in a public stage and stuff, I could do it, most likely. But the crowd is going to drive, probably drive me crazy, and I, I get lost with the ADHD to some extent. Yes, that's for real. I also have a little ADHD diagnosed, like, medically, okay? Not just making it up. And man, they, back then, some of the relatives, oh, this guy's bipolar. He, he has so much energy. He should calm down. Why is, he, why is he like so different? Why is he so weird? Why can't he be like other kids? You need to be like other kids. You need to get out. Just be like others. Get a job like others. I mean, you know how many times I heard that and still go through that every now and then? That's why I just want to separate myself. And that's a fact, I guess. If you can't relate to somebody, you separate yourself. I that's a bitter, the bitter truth, reality. Okay. Actually, I actually want to see the last part. What else is there? But this is so relatable. Holy moly. Their personality type. So it's understandable why Sigma men can seem a little strange and out of place to some. <laughs> they don't fit the mold of what most people think a normal person should be, which can make it difficult for them to find their place in the world. But don't mistake their silence or introversion for pessimism. These men are incredibly optimistic and have a deep appreciation for life. Sigma men may not be the most social or outgoing, but they often possess an inner strength and wisdom rarely seen. Mm. Although it can be hard for many to understand their unique way of thinking and behaving, this is exactly what makes them so special. Many women find themselves drawn to these men, as they can- Wait, is that the reason I'm still single? That's another story, maybe I'll tell some other day. That women is the missing piece I'm even in my podcast. I didn't want to discuss it, and I've been single for a decade. More than that, maybe. A little more, yeah. More than that. I have a very weird and crazy, strange, strange story. But it also has to do something to do with this, ultimately. Betray, betrayal, man. Dirty stuff. I don't know how to explain. But it's, it's twisted over, twist over twist. And my life has just been like a movie, literally. I'm not too sure if it's good or bad, but it's just been like that. And it's just getting started. I wish I was there and saying, oh my god, you know, I made it. I have the, I'm just going through the struggle and it's just getting started.
just getting started. So yeah, Sigma males out there, Sigma people. Wait, wait, he's, he's talking about women. Wait, wait, what? The perfect woman for Sigma males. Hmm, maybe I'm going to get one sooner or later from this. Hey, I'm here to pick my women. Where do I begin? How, do, how shall I proceed? Anyways, ladies and gents, take it easy. Just want to do, do this real quick because I thought I've, you know, I found this very relatable. I was feeling a little lonely, so I thought oh, this was this video. No, I'm just kidding. Actually, yeah, it's true. Anyways, take it easy. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.